Not sure what card they took from me with the Yordle Grifter, but it's probably scary because all my cards are great. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ezreal Swain. Feeling good about this one. We haven't had the best of luck today, um, but I think that this is going to do very well. I'm going to be playing another Swain deck. I think Swain's in a very good position right now. With um, Swain was was really held back by both Targon. Um, you know, Targon getting like Equinoxes for the Leviathans and just all the Celestials just outvaluing Swain. And then also by the Spectral Matron Watcher combo, which was just too robust and powerful and consistent. And, and like the Swain decks kind of really handle that. So those are the two things that Swain decks really lose to. But the early decks and a lot of, you know, like like that kind of stuff, like decks with like small units and, and mid-range decks and anything else, Swain really does have a lot of good removal, um, you know, with like PNZ and Noxus and uh, it has like this good top end finisher. It, it does very well against everything else. And right now, those two decks that I mentioned are really held held down, like not many people are playing those. And so I think that, that um, playing a Swain deck could be... Um, in a good spot right now. Yesterday we played Twisted Fate Swain, right? It did great. We did play against the Thrall deck one time with the Twisted Fate Swain and we got destroyed because uh, like the way that we had our deck build just didn't have a chance against the Thrall deck. Um, but you know, we did, we went four and one, we beat everything else. With this version right here, we are going to be prepared for the Thrall matchup this time. Because I think the Thrall matchup is very important to be prepared for. There's lots of it around. And this deck like especially these two regions does have the tools to fight the thralls because you you do have the ability to play scorched earth which we got three of to be able to just three mana destroy landmark and we have aftershock four mana destroy landmark so we have five destroy landmark cards in here honestly okay so this is a viewer submitted donation deck if it was me i'm playing six i'm playing three scorched earth and three aftershock because I'm probably too scarred by that deck and I don't like it and I lose to it every single time I play against it. And I don't want to lose to it all the time. So if it was me, I'm taking out the second Get Excited and playing the third Aftershock. Uh, a lot of people, you know, like the, the, you know, the person who submitted the deck and people in chat say that two Aftershocks is enough and that five landmark removals is enough. I don't believe them, but we're going to play it with five. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and uh, try it out. Let's see, we got time tricks in here being all cool and stuff, being a new card for the deck. Um, but besides that, everything else is a boot the same. So let's try it out. Ezreal Swain, let's have some fun. Here we go. This is going to be a 5-0. I'm predicting it. Okay, pirate-ish aggro. <laughs> it's got misfortune. So Misfortune said 20, come, making a comeback. We're going to mulligan the Aftershock. We'll keep the Flock Sentry combo. We'll keep the Thermogenic Beam. Lucky you. I'm see. Get out of here. Want to keep the Sejuani from leveling up? Ooh, Mystic Shot's good. That's the thing, like decks that are just like trying to attack and play a good, honest game of Runeterra, you have a pretty good shot. Um, that's a good card, because this is just a, yeah, that's a good card that they got here, because this is a difficult spot to be in. I think my play is stun this, block the 3 1. I could also Mystic Shot the 3 1. Yeah, I guess it's worth Mystic Shot, okay. Why not stun the 3 1? I guess because I was planning on dealing with that 3 1 with one of the other cards in my hand. Yuck. I don't like that. I am superior life form. Looking for trouble? It found you. Never stop shooting! 
Okay, so not the best. They are pretty far ahead right now. They have a better board. They have two more cards than us, not even including the warning shot. Um, so pretty far ahead right now. Do have the two extra mana? Can you improve perfection? I like the Ezreal. We, we found a champion, that's good. That was definitely something that we needed. We need some champions. Not sure what card they took from me with the Yordle Grifter, but it's probably scary. Because all my cards are great. Okay. So they're not even telling us the... They're not even using the warning shot they had. It was revealed. Okay, leveled up Ezreal. Okay, so that was a house spider from me. The Poro Fly was from the Lonely Poro from the uh, the three mana card. So that was they they nabbed three of my cards. So that was the first one of three that were nabbed. Two out of five right now. I just don't have the mana to play um, Static Shock this round also. Because I really want to kill that 4-4 with the you know, wallet stunned. Good job, Kordak. 14 and 5 in your last 19 games with Fiora Shen. Good job. I can't decide it may be a trap, but. I'm gonna play it. This is a lot of Nexus damage in our hand. Everything goes to the Nexus. So this will put them down to six. You know, like, like this Static Shock does three to them because it's two for targeting plus the one extra. And, you know, so I put them down to six, then I have the Aftershock and they get excited they can do six. Now, of course, we have the other get excited. So we can just... They did. They stole two House Spiders from me. Huh. How about that? They stole a lot of Spiders from me. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. I don't think they can stop this. I hope not. Okay, there we go. Oh, I guess they did steal all three house spiders, didn't they? Yeah, never mind. I, I, th I thought one of those house spiders was theirs, but... I guess that wouldn't really make much sense considering how spiders and noxus. Lurk. Lurk. Lurk, 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 lurk. 
They have really leveled up these champions already. Dang. They have played a ton of Lurk already. Alright, so my opponent knows what they're doing. They're Look at how leveled up these champions are. And they like just came out like yesterday or something like that. Whatever. Dang. I'm intimidated. Yeah, that's scary. Alright, so that card's gone. And... I guess we keep the rest. Basically putting this back because they're going to be all attacking and stuff. And I don't want to have to spend the two mana immediately to do that. So killing that thing, and then maybe Static Shock, other stuff. Like these two. Good. Aftershock, but I think I'm gonna, you know, Static Shock and then have the Ravenous Flock. Yeah. Yeah. Good curve so far. I am superior life form. So ordinary. Block these things. Guess I could have waited on the second one. Alright, so assuming I want to play Swain this round. I want to... Oh man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna skip. Cool. Stormy Ben says, I'm not the hugest fan of the Mobilitics Lurk version, too easy to miss. Yeah, I, I think that I've kind of found like where you want from like what my experience with Lurk is that you you basically want um, all but like, like five cards being Lurk. I don't like any of the prediction cards. So that was two. All right, so we know that the top card is another Rek'Sai. Okay, so they got a Rek'Sai. Leave them 
Oh, it's definitely worth doing this, right? Because we because Swain stuns things. Yeah, it's definitely worth doing this, right? Swain's done. Okay, so how much Nexus damage do we have? That puts them down to eight. This will put them down to four. But then get excited, kill them. Just from 20? <laughs> Just like that? So much Nexus damage. Dude, I'm, these Aftershocks have been awesome. Just so much Nexus damage. So they could... Okay, so if I went for the get excited to try to kill them, they could have the uh, spell that saves them. Whatever it's called. I guess it would still stun this Rek'Sai, though. Okay, never mind. Well, no, because then the Rek'Sai goes away. I think, like, the Bilgewater two-mana fight spell, right? So they'd have to do that on the Ezreal, then the Rek'Sai goes away. Is there just a Thermogenic Beam? Because then the Rek'Sai is gone anyway. Like, so... So I do that, they go down to one, these two are gone. Stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? I think we just do this. Keep this get excited in hand, because like this... Yeah, that, that puts him to two. Yeah, we, we good, we good. Alright, 2-0. Oh. That's right, had it all along. Lurkers! All right, this opponent um, isn't isn't as uh, leveled up with the two lurkers. They're still pretty leveled up with the lurkers, TBH, but not as leveled up. Um, so we'll see. I think Ezreal and Swain can finish the job real quick because that would have been twenty damage, like from twenty. One Swain hit, one Ezreal hit. The Mystic Shot you create from Ezreal. A get excited and an aftershock is 20 damage. That's what it would have been. You know, I I went a different route. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Remember, any of these things can lurk, right? They attack with the Chronomancer, it lurks. So if they just like predicted and put a pike on top. Their pike is now gone. Uh, by gone, I mean it's back in their hand. But it didn't get lurked. It didn't get uh, lurked. Opponent's a coward. <laughs> They want to block. So put that pike back on top. Striking luck and stunning wit. Okay, being a little patient here. Six health? I said six health was okay for that thing. Playing weighted judgment for that thing. I guess that that's in a Shreema deck. Fire, 
As Rio, four to six. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. I don't want to pass, but I don't want to use Aftershock on that either. So, I'm thinking Time Trick. Yeah, I think Time Trick. Yeah, stuns for the big things with the mana that they have. Stun would be for, uh, yeah, Rek'Sai. Be a good card to stun. That attack kind of says that that's going to be a pike on top, but yeah, I thought I thought they had a pike already for how they had been playing. I thought they had one already. So four. Can you improve perfection? I am the future. Don't hold your breath. I find that surprising. Yeah, I feel like that, that block is saying that, you know, I have another pike in hand and then I'm just trying to level up the pike, right? Like, trying to get damage in to level up the pike. So, I... That probably means they have another pike spell in hand. Which isn't fantastic, right? Like, I don't, I don't want to see that. Man, I want to take that Ezreal. But I gotta take the Static Shock. Yeah, I guess I should have Static Static Five One in face. I was I was thinking like maybe they play like another you know like another one of these and I'd Static them both. That was just probably too greedy. Now they get this Lurk. Okay, too greedy by me. Okay. Should have just done it immediately and make it difficult for them to attack, so they need another attacker. Oh! Oh, I see what y'all... Oh, I forgot about... Okay. Oh, oh man. Oh, all right, so basically everything was bad by me. All right. Okay. <laughs> Lessons learned. Lessons learned. Okay. I understand what y'all are saying. Okay. So, yes, I just... I wasn't thinking about leveled up Swain's ability at all. And so, leveled up Swain's ability, of course, would have allowed me to um, just play the stat simply the Static Shock, the Nexus, and the 5 1, and then that thing's stunned, and I could have kept the 1 mana stun in my hand. Still feel pretty good about having, you know, Leviathan plus Swain in play. Feel pretty good about that. Such little lives. But yeah, could have had that one mana stun in hand. All right, GGs. Good thing it was a Pike spell. I would have had the backup Swain to help out, but yeah, good thing it wasn't Pike Pike spell. Okay, so we're facing the Twisted Swain. Bilgewater, Twisted Fate version. Let's see if PNZ or Bilgewater is better. PNZ is gonna be better against Thralls. You're gone, you're gone. 
House Spider Static Shock, I like. I could see keeping Swain. Swain put some pressure on him. Yeah, I know, right? Like, we finally are not facing thralls. <laughs> it's like... It's like, come on. We're built for thralls. Okay, so, so far, it's working out for us. We both played two cards. We have two extra mana and a 1-1 one, one in play. So far, so good. But that can all change in a second. I kind of feel like playing Swain. Let's see. No, no, no. I don't know. Like, I play Swain. They play, like, Twist of Fate red card, kill my spiders, and deal damage to the Swain, and then Scorcher the Swain. Probably not worth it. One out of six, three out of twelve. Good news is we cannot draw Mystic Shot anymore. Mystic Shot's basically just good at killing Twisted Fate, but not very good in this matchup. We want things with card advantage. Man, they're playing Petty Officer. All right, so I got pretty punished for playing that other Static Shock. When I did, unfortunately. Guess I shouldn't have. I guess I should have waited. I didn't I didn't think they were playing Petty Officer. I was expecting that card. Once for last round, we both had our eight, eight mana. They passed. I guess I should have passed as well. But yeah, I was expecting Make It Rain. Gross. I no longer think we have a very good chance of winning with them having Black Market Merchants. That's something you don't see every every day. By my hand, with Noxus rise, Grand General. Is a tactician's greatest tool. Like, how much more Nexus damage do we have in this deck? We've drawn so much Nexus damage. We have one Static Shock, one Get Excited. And that's it? I also have Leviathan. Dang, man. I hate having to discard Aftershock. Don't want to do that at all. There's not, like, any other option for us trying to win this game. I needed that Aftershock, though, to try to get to 16. Such I really needed that Aftershock.
after the battle of the Rings. Empire for above all! Okay, so we lost the Swain Mirror. And we lost the Swain Mirror to Black Market Merchant. I think Black Market Merchant steal your Leviathan. That sounds like the best possible thing you can do in a Swain Mirror, if you ask me. GG's. Alright, third time against Lurkers. So we didn't face Thralls, even though we're playing the five things that kill Thralls, but I think that that's still a good idea for this metagame. We just didn't end up facing any Thralls to uh, really make it look good. Alright, Violet, take care. Have a good one. Not the best time for the Scorched Earths. Not the best time for those. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Destiny awaits. Hmm. They've lurked one card, and that one card was Pike. What a life. I guess if you gotta steal one card, you steal Leviathan, and if you gotta lurk one card, you lurk Pike. Swain is not the next Aurelia's here. Not at all. I guess we're gonna, like, if we're going to win this game, we're gonna need this Swain. Um, haven't played a new... Yeah, they just had another pike in hand. Haven't played a new Poro deck in a while. What what happens with this? I guess it's still... Is it still going to go on top of the deck? I guess I need to let them attack first. And then block and then do this, I guess. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's, it's over. Alright, well, three and two. We were 2-0 against Lurkers before that, but sometimes your Lurkers just have their bikes, you know. That's going to happen sometimes, so. All right, so 3-2. Uh, and two, I I like this list. I think this list does very good. I think that uh, we probably will be behind against Twisted Fate Swain. I think Twisted Fate Swain has the card advantage to do well against other Swain decks, especially playing Black Market Merchant Pilfer Goods if they're doing that kind of stuff. I think that you're going to be losing to the Twisted Fate version with this. However... I think you're going to do a lot better than against Thralls than what the Twisted Fate version is going to do. Um, we didn't see the Thrall matchup, but I think that you are going to do very well against it with having Scorched Earth and Aftershock. And I would recommend playing both of those. I would recommend playing both of those. Um, so that's, that's those matchups there. Um, I like this list, though. I think you're going to be... I, you know, as long as people aren't playing Spectral Matron Watcher, they're not playing um, 
Targon control too much. I think you're going to be favored against basically everything that you're playing against. I think that like maybe just the Twisted Fate version with having, you know, like how they have the nab cards to have the more card advantage and you have, obviously you have great cards to nab in the mirror matches as we saw them take my Leviathan, but you know, like that's going to be tough. I think you're going to be favored against kind of everything else. Like, you know, like against your like pirate burn, I think you're definitely favored against lurkers. I think you're favored again. You don't win all these match. You know, you, you don't win a hundred percent of anything, but I think you're favored in the matchups in those. And I get, I, and against turbo thralls that is everywhere. I think you're favored there also. Um, so yeah, I think this is a very good deck to play right now. I think this is a, you know, this is a good list. I, I would recommend going two aftershock, three scorched earths, like we saw. Um, and I think that this is going to be pretty good. You have lots of Nexus damage finishing the games out. You know, Static Shock deals Nexus damage. Aftershock, get excited. Ezreal making Mystic Shot. Regular Mystic Shot. Ignition, right? Leviathan. All these things do Nexus damage, and you can finish games out pretty quickly once you stabilize. Looks good. All right, anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think about this version of a Swain deck. I think Swain's really good right now. And um, I think that's that's probably a good sign of a good metagame whenever Swain decks are able to do good. All right, but that's going to be it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.